Dear viewers, Assalamu alaikum. This is our lecture number 8 of Medicinal Chemistry. In this video, we will discuss ligands and receptors. In this video, we will discuss different type of ligands and various type of receptors. So, ligands acts as signaling molecule and then response produced by the receptors. So in this way, this video will also represent the signaling and response by these ligands and receptor molecules. First of all, we will discuss what are ligands. Ligands are actually the signaling molecules. These are the chemical signals that travel to the target cell. They bind with the receptor. Initiate cell response and the ligands are actually the way of communication between different cells and different organs. The ligands may be intracellular or extracellular. There are various type of ligands that depends on their composition are made like here the Ligands may be peptides or small proteins. These may be small organic molecules, small inorganic molecules or different type of ions. Classification of ligands. Ligands may be classified as hydrophobic ligands, water soluble or hydrophilic ligands which are polar in nature and gases as ligands. The hydrophobic ligands, these are the ligands which are hydrophobic in nature. So they can pass through the cell membrane and binds with the internal receptors. Whereas water soluble ligands are polar in nature or hydrophilic. So they cannot pass through the cell membrane. So therefore they binds with the external receptors. There are some gases which acts as ligands. They diffuse through the cell membrane and binds with the internal receptors. Hydrophobic ligands. Hydrophobic ligands diffuse through the cell membrane or plasma membrane. They interact with the internal receptors are also called as cytoplasmic receptors. The examples of hydrophobic ligands are steroid hormones like corticosteroids, thyroid hormones, like thyroxine and vitamin D. So these are the type of hydrophobic ligands. Water soluble ligands, these are polar in nature, so cannot pass through the membrane. They binds with the external receptors or cell surface receptors. These are peptides or proteins. The example of protein which acts as ligand is interleukin 3 or IL-3, it is called as colony stimulating factor or mast cell growth factor. The small molecules which acts as ligands are dopamine, serotonin, acetylcholine, etc. And the ions which acts as ligand are like calcium ions, sodium ions, potassium ions. So in this way, these ions can also act as ligand molecules. Gases as ligands. Gases freely diffuse across the cell membrane and they bind with the internal receptors. For example, nitric oxide. Nitroglycerin releases nitric oxide which dilates blood vessels to treat heart diseases. Types of signaling. So these molecules act their signal molecule and how they act. These the type of signaling may be autocrine, autocrine and gap junction. So we are going to discuss one by one in detail. So these are the chemical signaling, autocrine signaling. The type of signal in which a cell targets itself. So, 
the ligand molecule or the signaling molecule is released and it acts on the same cell or itself. Signaling across gap junction. So the signaling across gap junction means that the there is a junction between two different targets uh, between signaling cell and the target. Like a cell targets a cell connected by the gap junction, like neuron cells. Paracrine. In paracrine, a cell targets a nearby cell. So the signaling molecules are released by the signaling cells and they move to the target cell and they bind to the target cell. And this way they communicate the signals. Endocrine. In endocrine, a, target, a cell targets a distant cell through the bloodstream. So the signaling cell like glands, glands secretes uh, different type of ligands or uh, signaling molecules and they pass through the bloodstream and then they target the cell. Neurotransmitters Neurotransmitters are a type of signaling molecules or ligands so they carry chemical signals from one neuron or nerve cell to the target cell. The target cell may be nerve cell, muscle cell or glands. So here is the neuron which acts as the signaling molecule and then there will be a target cell where this signal is, is transmitted. So in neurotransmitter there is a synaptic junction or cleft present between the sensory and motor neurons so the neurotransmitters are released by the vesicles and then they bind to the receptors on the receptor molecule and then the signal is transferred here we discuss different type of signaling molecules or neurotransmitters like is a neurotransmitter or adrenaline is a concentration major neurotransmitter serotonin also known as mood neurotransmitter GABA which is gamma amino butyric acid it is calming neurotransmitter acetylcholine learning neurotransmitter glutamate is a memory neurotransmitter and endorphin is a euphoria neurotransmitter so these are the different type of neurotransmitters and the structures are also present receptors so receptors are the response molecules the ligands or the signaling molecule binds on the receptor will be carried out by the receptors. These are a class of proteins function by binding a specific ligand. Change in conformation occurs. Transmission of signals and they are present on the cell surface or inside the cell. So the detail of receptors are the what are the different type of receptors and how they respond will be discussed in our second video or second part of this video so thanks for watching my video Allah.